Hey guys, welcome back to Top Tipper Betting Tips. I hope you're having a fantastic evening and you're looking forward to, to, to the racing out at the Vol main track. We've got the postman that's going to give us a rundown on that track and hopefully he can deliver like he normally does. I just want to say that well done to the Warrikul. Seven out of eight winners in um, Kenilworth and our best bet nearly won the race if you had watched it. It ended up paying 220 a place, so which was quite nice. So we got some money back there. And our value bet, um, we got to watch it next time out. Uh, Marcus was balked for a run. So no excuses, though. We box on. And um, the postman's going to give us his verdict on the racing out at the VAR. Yeah, thanks, Steve. Racing comes to us on the 25th of November from the VAR main track. There are 10 races carded. First race is draw for 11.40. And this is a maiden plate to be run over 1,000 meters for fillies. And guys, when we look at the first race, the horse that stands out here is horse number 15. And horse number 15 is What a Honey, Craig Zaki, Lucky Odalakis. This ran... Um, 19 weeks ago, ran in a juvenile plate, finished third, just over one and a half lengths behind Sheila. And we know that if Sheila was in this event, Sheila would probably go off um, right about one to four. Um, however, there is one big negative about Water Honey, and that is that she's had a long layoff. So for that reason, guys, I've taken a bit of a chance here. And in the first race, my first selection here is horse number two. And that is Moonstrike, Ryan Munger for Paul Matchett. Um, guys, we go and we look at Moonstrike. Finished third last night, finished second the time before. Both runs have been over 1,200 meters. If you look at the way this one runs, um, sits, in, uh, sits up there, always in touch, comes flying the last uh, couple hundred, and about 100 meters out, um, tends to get caught. I do believe that to drop back to a thousand meters would suit Moonstrike to the ground. And I think that if the horse number 15, Water Honey, is in need of the run, uh, Moonstrike will win this race. I'll make this a nice little value bet, and we at Top Tip are certainly having a couple place bets on it, and we will have a small touch to win. So for first, I've gone for horse number two. For second, I've gone for horse number 15, Moonstrike. I've discussed that with you guys. And for third, guys, I've gone for horse number 13, Risky Business. Um, last time out, we were, uh, we were disappointed, bitterly disappointed with its run. We thought that it would go really, really close. Um, finished off the race coughing. If we re uh, watch a rerun, uh, over-raced. And I do believe that with Samanga Kamala aboard, this one could certainly um, improve. So race one, guys, we've gone two, 15, 13, and two um, as a nice um, outsider for us. Race two, due off at 12, 10, a, a thousand meter event, and this is a maiden plate, and this one is the first leg of our bipod. Um, I don't like the race, I think it's quite open. And for first, guys, I've gone for horse number 17, Rio Supremo. Um, this filly from the Ashley Fortune stable has Rachel Benneker up and will only be carrying 54 kilos. And I think that this will suit this filly down to the ground. Um, only negative, first run in the province. But I do believe that this one has taken on stronger. We go back and look, ran in a feature race, finished just over seven and a half lengths behind the powerful Ambirorix. And if that one was in this field, again, would be odds on. So I do believe 17 um, will go very, very close. For second, guys, I've gone for horse number six. And that is Maradiva, Warren Kennedy for Paul Peter. Last time out, um, finished second in our work riders, finished second behind Jet Captain. There was support for this one. Got backed in from 28 to 10 to 17 to 10. Uh, jumped, um, had a lot of pace, and was caught very, very late. And again, I do believe that this one can certainly go very, very close. 
for third guys I've gone for horse number 14 Son and Stroll Ray Danielson for Johan Janse van Furen um, dismal first run and only run finishing just over nine lengths behind um, out of the darkness however guys on the day the horse was slow uh, two lengths was bumped around about 500 out um, opened up at 5 to 10 so this one must have been showing the stable something and I do believe that this can certainly improve and run into the money so for my buy pots we will be including all three horses but my selections are 17, 6 and 14 third race on the card you off at 12.40 and maiden plate over 1400 meters and this is the first leg of our place accumulator and in the third race, my first selection here is horse number two, of Verney Warrior. Chase Majan, Lucky Odalakis, um, very, very, very decent form, finishing fourth, third, and then second last time out. But that last run behind Zeus was a great run. Uh, finished uh, ahead behind, and we know that Zeus came out and uh, won really, really well the other day. So I do believe that the horse that beats Averni Warrior will win. And I don't believe that in anything will. For second, guys, I've gone for horse number 14. And that is uh, Soweto Spina. Samanga Kamala for Candace Dawson. Um, Samanga rode last time out, finishing fourth. Um, six lengths behind Forge and Fire. Um, sat handy, um, but didn't really kick on. Candace gave it a 17-week break. And again, when Samanga retains a ride, you must certainly take note. And I do believe that horse 14 will fill the second spot. For third, guys, I've gone for horse number four, Motor City Hitman. Warren Kennedy, Paul Peter. Warren has ridden it on two occasions. Last time out, there was a bit of improvement. Finished uh, fifth, four lengths behind Red Saxon. Was switched around about 600 out. And we know that the recent form has been franked. Um, again, I don't believe it will trouble my first selection, but I've selected that to run third. So in race three, I've gone two, 14, and four. Fourth race in the card, at Dioff at 13.10, another maiden plate over 1,400 meters. And in this event, my first selection in the fourth race will be horse number nine, Jet Blast. Um, Sherman Brown jumps aboard for St. John Gray. Lost some heart, a ton of support from 5 to 1 to 5 to 2. Um, however, it was slow away, and I think that that blew any chance that Jet Blast had. I think if Jet Blast um, jumps on terms, um, should be finishing well, and I believe that this one could end up in the winner's enclosure. For second, guys, I've gone for horse number five. Uh, Captain of Grit, Samanga Kamala, again for Candace Dawson. They may have a decent day. Last time out, Muzieni rode it, finishing uh, fourth, three lengths behind uh, Red Saxon. The third horse has come out and won since. So again, the form has been franked. And I do believe Captain of Grit um, will be there when the whoops are cracking. For third, guys, I've gone for horse number three, West Point. Um, Ryan Munger, Ashley Fortune. West Point ran second last time out, challenged really, really strongly. Um, went off to favorite at 72. That was the first run after rest. And again, should be fitter for to, uh, tomorrow's racing. And I believe, again, West Point should be included in all exotics. For fourth guys, gone for horse number two, Gimme a Dream. Warren Kennedy, Paul Peter. Um, this one has had two runs, finishing fifth on both occasions. Um, last time out, uh, finished five lengths behind Supreme Warrior, lost a length at the start, um, and never uh, was never in contention. However, if we look at the breeding of this one, um, should certainly relish the extra and should be included in all exotics. Guys, so in race four, I've gone nine, five, three, and two, and again, all four should be included in your exotics. Race five, guys, draw off at 13.50, another maiden plate, for this time for fillies and mares, to be run over 1,400 meters. And in race five, yeah, my first selection, yeah, is horse number 10, Song of Liberty. Craig Zaki jumps aboard and lasts some out over this course and distance, 
finished second, just over two lengths behind Princess Philippa, um, was handy and, and was certainly second best on the day. And I do believe this one could improve and go close. For second, guys, I've gone for horse number eight, Scott Adito, Warren Kennedy, Corne Spitz. First time um, Warren has jumped aboard. We know that Scott Adito jumps, goes to the front. And again, maybe with Warren up, you know, and I do believe he's slightly stronger and, um, than Ryan Munger. I do believe with Warren up, this one um, may jump, go to the front and may stay there. So again, must be included in all bets. For third, guys, gone for horse number seven, Kiz uh, Makaya. Diego de Gavea, Stewie Pettigrew. Diego jumps aboard for the first time. Um, first two runs were really, really good, finishing third and then second to the very powerful Mike Schick. Last time out, a bit disappointing, finishing fifth, just under 10 lengths uh, behind bold decision. Um, I do believe that horse number seven is better than that form. And again, can certainly fill one of the minor spots. For fourth, guys, I've gone for horse number one. Kiss by Fire, Dennis Swords for David Niverhazen. Uh, this is the first time that uh, Dennis jumps aboard. Um, last time out, finished fourth um, over 14, 50 meters. Um, lacked a strong finish. However, the time before that, again, over 14, 50, finished third, just under length behind uh, Rapid Charge. And this one was running on really, really strongly. I see it has had a 12-week layoff. And again, if this is fit and well, can certainly be there. Race 5, guys, 10, 8, 7, and 1. Race 6, due off at 15.25. Merry rated 80 handicap to be run over 1,400 meters. And in this event, my first selection here and quite a confident selection is horse number 1 from here to eternity. Um, this, time, uh, this horse won last time out with Warren Kennedy aboard. Um, it was pumped up in the ratings to, 60, to carry 62 kilos. But Paul Peter has brought uh, Caden Brewer up to ride. Uh, Caden claims 4 kilos, so this horse will be carrying 58. And the way it won last time out, again, should really, really go close. The second horse that day, Sacred Lotus, came out and won um, its very, very next start. So the form has certainly been franked here. For second, guys, I have gone for horse number six, Funky Music. Calvin Habib, Ashley Fortune. Um, had two very, very good runs. Last time out with Calvin aboard, finished second to uh, Super Excited. Um, jumped, went basically to the inside of the track. And if you watch a rerun of that race, um, all the horses that filled the spots were on the outside. So Funky Music really, really ran well. And I do believe, again, can finish in the money. For third, guys, I've gone for horse number three, and that is Cleveland. Warren Kennedy, Paul Peter, last time out, this one won, beat Theory of Flight. Theory of Flight has won again since. Um, and again, this one can certainly go close and should be included. For fourth, guys, I've gone for horse number 10. And horse number 10 is a real roughy. Um, Accelerator, Chase Mojan, Frankie Bo uh, Bronkhorst, last time out in a novice. This was a second run after rest, finished five and three quarter lengths uh, behind Moon Shining Through. But the two runs prior are really, really interesting. Um, two runs back in a merit rate of 90, finished um, a long way back to Avalon. But again, that is a very, very strong field. The time before that, it's Gravel, again in a feature race, finished only six or just under six and a half lengths behind Good Traveller. And again, very, very strong. And I do believe that maybe horse 10 could fill one of the minor spots and make our swingers, trifectas, exactors, and quartets pay. So in this event, guys, I've gone one by six by three by 10. Seventh race on the card, you're off at 1500 hours. Graduation plate over 1,200 meters. Again, very, very competitive event. And in the seventh race here, my narrow first selection is horse number five, Bard of Avon. Calvin Habib, Ashley Fortune. Um, form really, really good. 
first, second, first, second. Last time out um, was a first run after a bit of a rest. Finished fifth, four length behind uh, Winter Stories. Um, there was support for it from 5 to 2 to 15 to 10. Um, disappointed. However, if this horse is suited to the course, I do believe that this one uh, may win. So I've selected five to win race seven. For second, guys, I've gone for horse number one, Theory of Flight. Um, Samanga Kamalo for Baron Burtis, uh, Forslu Stable. Samanga has ridden on several occasions. The horse gets on very, very well with Samanga. And again, should it really, really give a good account of itself. For third, guys, I've gone for horse number three, Dock of the Bay. Chase Majan, Sean Terry. Face a lot stronger last time out. Again, over a little further. Finished uh, just over six and a half lengths to MK's Pride. Um, wasn't a bad run. Time before that, beat uh, Lucy in the Sky about three quarters of a length. Time before that in a feature race. Finished five and three quarter lengths behind Dice. Again, another really, really good um, run. So that one should be included in all our bets as well. For fourth guys, have gone for horse number six. And that is Captain Lannister, Ryan Munger, Ashley Fortune. Um, last time out, <clears throat> finished third, just over a length to Moon Shining Through, and was running on really, really well. Time before that, in a in the gold medallion at Scottsville, finished just over two and a half length behind Ambiorix, and again, what's finishing uh, really, really well. So this one cannot be left out of any calculation. Um, in our exotics, we're going to include all of them. We're going to go 5, 1, 3, and 6. Race 8, graduation, plate over 1,200 meters for fillies and mares, and race 8, you off at 1535. In the eighth event of the card, we find my best bet, and that is horse number 7, Crimson Corway. Warren Kennedy for Gavin Van Zale. I think Gavin has really picked this race well. Um, form is there for all of us to see, has had really, really good runs. And when we look at some of its competitors, they are back from lengthy, lengthy layoffs. I do believe seven would be fitter on the day, and I think we'll take a power beating. For second, guys, I've gone for horse number five, Cavivar. Again, form really, really good, has run in several feature races, done really, really well, but has, has had a 53-week layoff. Very, very classy, but again, we're taking uh, fitness for granted. For third, guys, gone for horse number one. Uh, Zambaba, Calvin Habib, Sean Terry, ran in a grade one last time out, was not disgraced again over slightly further, but has had a 21-week layoff and may not be as fit as our horse number seven. For fourth, I've gone for horse number two. And that is Bat Out of Hell, Craig Zaki for Dory Sham. Finished third last time out, just over a length behind I Dream of Genie. And the second horse has come out and won, so it can certainly go close. But quite a confident first selection there, seven by five by one by two. Ninth race on the card, middle stakes, due off at, uh, at, due off at 16.10 to be run over 1,800 metres. And in the ninth race, again, I have quite a confident first selection, and that would be horse number one, Infinite Wonder. Infinite Wonder finished second last time out to Safe Passage, sat handy, um, was found lame at the end of the race. And again, considering that was a great run, we look at who it's run behind. It's run six lengths behind uh, Linebacker on two occasions, ran two and a half lengths behind uh, Porto Manzano, um, was slow on that day and was flying it to death. And I do believe horse number one will go really, really close. For second, guys, I've gone for horse number eight. Uh, Lady Amherst. Samanga Kamala, Alec Laird. Um, Samanga gets on very, very well with this horse. And again, only with 55 and a half, can go really, really close. Only negative, drawn 12 out of 13. Um, if Samanga can get over... Um, without using this horse up uh, too much, can certainly finish in the money. For third, gone for horse number five, um, Twin Turbo. Twin Turbo won last time out, beating Jean Carlos, set the pace and lasted, and again, can give a good account of itself. For fourth, guys, gone for horse number 11, KT Perry. 
um, Ray Danielson for Johan Janse van Furen, um, Ray first time out, uh, this is the first run for uh, Ray, third run after rest, and I do believe that Katy Perry can fill one of the minor spots, and we at uh, Top Tipper Betting Tips will certainly be having a couple of places on her. So race 9, I've gone 1, 8, 5 and 11. Race 10, the lucky last, Jewel at 16.40, merit rate of 72 handicap, to be run over 1,200 meters. Probably the most difficult race on the card. Um, we look at the betting, 11 to 2 bar the field. And here, guys, we're going for a couple of roughies. Our first selection, horse number 6, twice as splendid, Ryan Munger, Grant Maroon. Um, last two runs, I do believe, has run again stronger, especially the... Five and a half lengths to Grappler. If we look at the field that it took on that day, it was much, much stronger than it meets today. And I do believe that twice as splendid will give a good account of itself. And again, we are certainly going to have a small each way touch. For second, I've gone for horse number 12. And that is Midnight Badger. Craig Zaki for Paul Peter. Craig has ridden it on three occasions, finishing second, fourth and second. Last time out got going very, very late and was touched off by Samuel Salt. And again, um, this horse seems to love the uh, course and distance and should go pretty close. For third, guys, gone for another roughie. Gone for horse number 13, successful secret, Nathan Klink, Brett Weber. There was a ton of support for this one last time out from 12 to 1 to 4 to 1. Was very, very speedy, was caught late and, only, and finished only two lengths behind the winner. Um, I do believe that this one will be cherry ripe and again should go pretty close. For fourth guys we've gone for horse number 15. Corvette captain Diego de Gavea for Johan uh, Janse van Furen. Um, last time out something certainly a miss. I'm going to totally disregard that run but again seems to uh, uh, enjoy running at this course and loves the distance. We look at some of the form here, and it again has been running to some strong horses. We are going to take my first uh, four selections. We're going to box them around, trifectas, swingers, exactors, quartets. If we catch that, nice Christmas uh, money. Guys, look after yourselves. Take it easy. Please watch betting on first-timers. Watch for jockey changes. And Stevie, back to you in the studio. Thanks for that, the postman. We appreciate that input. Um, it's a 10 race program. I know you've studied hard on this card. Your bar pot and your PA. Um, if the guys want to add in there, just take percentages. Um, and the best bet, race eight, number seven, Crimson Causeway at five to two. And the value bet, race one, number two, Moonstrike at 13 to one. So play around with some place doubles, some win doubles, because we always tip value, guys. You know that. We, we're the value kings. And um, if you're liking the content, please like and subscribe and share. Remember, we've got an important announcement to make for the top tipper loyal subscribers. That's going to come in the next couple of days. And uh, we hope you enjoy your racing out at the Vol Main track. Remember our motto, enjoy, have fun, break a leg. Cheers for now.